Hi, I'm Poppy. Welcome to Class 3, Environmental Science, Episode 2. And today, let's learn Plant World, Part 2. Do you know what is a new plant or baby plant called? A new plant or a baby plant is called a seedling or sapling. Now let's have a look at what are the different types of plants. There are generally seven types of plants and those are trees, herbs, shrubs, climbers, creepers, wild plants and water plants. So now let's have a look at the trees. So what is a tree? A tree is a tall plant with a trunk and branches made of wood. Trees can live for many years. Moving on to the next one on the list, herbs. Herb plants are very small plants with a green colored soft unbranched stem. Herb leaves Flowers, seeds are used for adding flavour to food, cooking, medicines and making perfume. Now let's have a look at some of the examples of herbs. Those would be wheat, paddy, that's rice, cabbage, tomato, wheatgrass, mustard, radish, sunflower, carrot, ginger and turnip. Moving on to the next type of plant, that's shrubs. Shrubs are medium sized plants with bushy and hard but not thick stems with branches. Their stem branches out near the base. They are distinguished from trees by their multiple stems and shorter height, which is less than 6 to 10 meters tall. For example, lavender, lemon, Tulsi, Rose, Bougainvillea, China Rose, etc. Moving on to Climbers. Climbers are plants with weak stems. They cannot stand straight and need support to grow. They must climb on other plants, sticks or walls to grow up. For example, Pea, Grapevine, money plant, which is also known as the devil's ivy, bean, etc. Then we have creepers. Creepers are weak stemmed plants and hence they cannot grow erect without support. The creepers spread horizontally along the soil. At the nodal regions where leaves grow, they produce fiber-like roots arising from the base of the stem which get fixed and grow further. For example, pumpkin, bottle grout, strawberry, aparagita, etc. Then we have the wild plants. Wild plants grow spontaneously in self-maintaining populations in natural or semi-natural ecosystems and are not looked after by people. For example, Datura, a devil's trumpet, Madar or Ak, Chuimui or Touch Me Not, Shottanashi or Prickly Poppy, Nakfani or Prickly Pear, etc. And the last type of plants, the water plants. Water plants or aquatic plants are plants that have adapted to living in aquatic environments salt water or fresh water. They are also referred to as hydrophytes. For example, lotus, pickerel weed, pond weed, water lily, etc. Yay! You completed the lesson! Now you know about the plant world.
So do not forget to revise what you learned. And remember to check out our other videos. Bye bye for now. See you soon. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel Peach Peanut Poppy.